Editing your podcast can seem pretty daunting, especially for someone who might not have edited audio before. So we're going to show you the basics of how to use Adobe Audition to edit your podcast. So Adobe Audition is a paid program that offers professional editing capabilities. So let's have a look at the basic editing process you're probably going to use if you use Adobe Audition. So first up, we should look at how to actually record audio in Audition, because you can record audio files directly into Audition. First off, you'll need to go to File, then New, then Audio File. Or if you're on a Mac, this is Shift, Command, and N. This will create a new blank audio file. To then record audio onto this file, you'll need to hit the record button at the bottom of the screen and record what you want, and then click record again or press stop to stop recording. And now you have a brand new audio file. But during your recording, you may have coughed, you may have sneezed, you may have said um too many times. So you might have certain pieces of audio in there that you just don't want and you want to cut out. And that's completely fine. There are two different ways of doing this. So the first way is simply to highlight the section of audio you want to remove by clicking and dragging. And then you just press the delete button on your keyboard. The only problem with this method is that you might hear a jump in the audio where you cut a bit out because it automatically stitches the two loose ends together. So this method is generally more useful for removing things at the beginning or the end of your recording, like excessive silence or if you cleared your throat before you started. The second way is to select the razor tool up top here. Um, you can also use R as a shortcut to this. So you make a cut with the razor tool before and after the part of audio you want to remove. Then select the chunk of audio you've just cut out and press delete on your keyboard and that will get rid of it. Uh, note you can only do this in the multi-track editor, which we'll get onto in a second, but this will remove the chunk of audio and leave the two ends separated it won't automatically stitch them back together, so you can put sound effects in here or music to cover up the gap. Uh, or if you want, you can try and fade the two ends together and make it a bit more of a smooth transition. So how do you add in audio files that you might have previously recorded elsewhere? Uh, this is really easy to do. So you can either drag and drop them into the little library box on the left. You can drag them directly from your files on your computer into the timeline in Audition. Um, or you can click the Upload Media button, which looks like a little file. So once you have your files uploaded into Audition, you can add these to whatever track you like in the multi-track session by dragging and dropping them where you want them. Speaking of multi-track sessions, we should probably look into how to open a new multi-track session. So this is where you're going to be doing the bulk of your editing. So to open a new multi-track session, you're just going to go up to File, New, and then multi-track session, which is command N on a Mac. Um, or you can just click this multi-track button at the top here and that will fast track you to creating a new multi-track session. So in this multi-track area, you can see that there are quite a few tracks and you can think of these as layers if you want. So this is how you're gonna be layering music underneath talking, for example. So in this example, we're gonna be layering music, speech, and a sound effect. So I've labeled the tracks as such. So in this area, it's really easy to drag your audio files around and make them play out exactly when you want them to. For example, this is going to be the introduction to our podcast episode. So we're going to have the host briefly introduce the episode, followed by the opening jingle, then a sound effect of maybe a telephone, and then the host continuing to talk for the, the rest of the episode. So I've gone ahead and arranged my clips in the order that I want them. But what about adjusting the volume of music so it sits underneath the host talking or adjusting an interview piece so that one person's on the right and one person's on the left when you listen with headphones? So you can do all of this in multi-track too. First of all, let's get to ducking music underneath a host talking. So this yellow line here is the clip's volume. So you can adjust the volume gain using this line. And it's pretty easy to do. First of all, you just need to click wherever you want on the line and this will add in a keyframe, which is this little dot. You can think of these like pins if you want. So this is going to pin the line in the exact position that we want. So slightly further down the line, we're going to add another keyframe and then click and drag this one down. 
This now means that the volume is going to follow the yellow line. So it's going to start off quiet as the host continues to talk when the music comes in. And then as he finishes talking, it's going to follow the line up and get to normal volume to play out for the rest of the jingle. And that's pretty much the basics on how you adjust the volume of a clip in the multi-track session. So the other thing we mentioned is making it sound like one voice is on the left and one voice is on the right if you do a podcast interview, for example. And that's also really easy to do in the multi-track editor. So this white or greyish line is the panning on the clip. So this is the line that determines whether the clip will sound out on the left or the right or the centre, wherever you put it. And again, this works by adding keyframes to it. So for this example, we're going to make this clip pan from left to right. So first off, we're going to add in a keyframe here and we're going to move that up like that. And then we're going to put another keyframe in here and we're going to move that one down like that. So now this clip should pan from left to right if we play it out. So there is a lot more that you can do in Adobe Audition besides volume and panning. Adobe Audition has plenty of special effects that you can apply to your clips to make your voice sound different or to make other people's voices sound different. I know a couple of the popular ones are applying reverb to your voice to make it sound a bit more boomy and impressive. And another popular one is whenever podcasts are acting as if someone's calling in. I have heard podcasters apply the telephone preset that is available on Adobe Audition. So there's a lot that you can play around with in your own time and plenty of effects. And that's pretty much the basics of getting to know how to edit your podcast with Adobe Audition. If you guys have any favorite effects that you like using in Adobe Audition for your podcast, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear them. Other than that, if you have any other questions about using Adobe Audition or anything else podcast related, feel free to get in contact with us via our email. Head on over to podcast.co slash blueprint and get your copy today. The report includes loads of secrets and loads of shortcuts to allow you to get started really quickly, grow your podcast fast with minimal fuss and no technical headaches.